What's up everyone? How you guys and gals doing? Today we have a very interesting video that we're going to do. It is about the co-founder of the Hessians MC. He has now been designated as terminal he will be getting released from prison and if you do not know the hessians motorcycle club you are missing out this is an old school club very old school you know there's many clubs out there but not many like the hessians I only considered a few like the Hessians, their attitude, the way they carry themselves, the way they keep it old school, the way they ride. And that is, you got the invaders fall into that category, the breed fall into that category. Clubs that you might not hear about in the news or around the biker community. So we're going to take a look at this story, then we're going to go and take a look at the website. I'm telling you, if you're talking about history, the history of MCs, especially during the 60s and 70s, was pretty damn hardcore. I would have to say so hardcore that... Uh, Many nowadays would consider it beyond, beyond crazy. So we're going to go to this. I'm just getting it up on uh, the computer right now. So we did go. I didn't get it up there fast enough. Here we go out of KTLA 5, California killer diagnosed with cancer to be released from prison. Now, one thing about California, they do have that compassionate release uh, deal, which, hey, that's cool and uh, all that good stuff. Here we go. Uh, Southern California Motorcycle Club founder. You love it, man. Some of these articles get it right in the beginning where they say motorcycle club and not motorcycle gang. Who killed three people in 1980 has been ordered to be released this week following a terminal cancer diagnosis prosecutors say and they were not happy about this they were furious he was able to get out on this uh what is it uh terminal cancer diagnosis and 1980 boy the 1980s see the 60s and up were mostly Vietnam veterans, their air. And a lot of the culture that was happening back then was craziness. You're talking about rebels? These guys and a lot of motorcycle clubs that went through the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s were true rebels. They had a different outlook than you see in most clubs today you know you have a lot of people on the internet uh they preach history they preach what you should you shouldn't do oh you got to be a part of a community what a lot of them don't realize is a lot of these clubs didn't care about being uh, a part of a biker community they just did themselves they did them they built their brotherhood and didn't care what other people thought it's just like the old saying clubs don't care what civilians think well they uh took this to a different level man uh let's get over here and go hopefully i don't butcher his name thomas manis uh what is it manis Calco. Uh, he's 77. He's been incarcerated for ne nearly 30 years after his 94 conviction on three counts of second-degree murder with enhancements for being armed with a firearm. Yeah, those uh, enhancements are still there. And that was according to state prison officials. He was sentenced to life in prison, and he's been denied uh, parole twice he was ordered release under California's Compassionate Release Law, which was amended last year and allows incarcerated people to be freed if they have a serious and advanced illness with an end-of-life trajectory. Now, he was the co-founder, according to this. 
I don't know the club's history, but they're saying in this of the Hessians Motorcycle Club. Uh, said him, uh, let's see here. Prosecutor said, uh, let's just go by Tom because I don't want to butcher his name. Thought Richard Rizone, another Hessian, was ripping him off in a counterfeiting and meth distribution ring. Uh, Rizone, his daughter, uh, or his 19 uh, year old girlfriend. Yeah, they are young back there, man. Them girls used to flock to MC members. And his bodyguard, Thomas Mohan, were killed in the 1980 Memorial Day attack at Rizan's home. All three were shot multiple times. Now, prosecutor said Miley, a police officer's daughter, ooh, uh, and Mohan were slain so the killers could avoid witnesses. Hey, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> if two are dead, you know what I mean. Uh, another uh, Tom and a fellow Hessian were convicted in the massacre. A third biker was killed by police in Oklahoma before charges could be brought. Uh, then the prosecutor went on. He has taken no responsibility for the lives he destroyed, and soon he will be a free man with nothing to lose. Boy, that prosecutor get mad, don't he? Got pretty mad. Now, going over to the Hessians website, this is an awesome website. If you get a chance, go over. It's hessiansmc.com. And you can really see, really see the old schoolness of this club. The no care attitude about what anybody thinks of them what they're doing it was all about them and their brotherhood a lot missing nowadays anyway this sums it up right here and a lot of you woke bikers because a lot of uh bikers now are woke will be their heads gonna explode on this one harleys were a lot more fun when they were exclusively ridden by angry violent intoxicated antisocial poorly groomed sexually deviant heavily tattooed maniacs boy was that the fun days now everybody's so pc man you know i get different generations go through different changes but it is a real huge change from them decades to now and a lot of people would call it evolution. I call it not having any fun. You can't have any fun anymore. But uh, let's go a little bit. It says about its history right here. March 7th, 1968. That was a bad year in the Vietnam War. The most activity, a lot of guys were getting killed. And it, things were full swing here in the United States where it was mostly an anti-governmental type of thinking. And people did what they wanted to do, man. Uh, the Hessians MC was founded in Southern Cal and expanded throughout the West Coast. We have endured, I love this, I love how honest they are. We have endured over five decades of biker wars, law enforcement, and everyday dangers of the lifestyle on the road. To this day, we are still respected and have great friendships among other clubs across the U.S. We ride below the radar and believe in quality, not quantity. We respect those who respect us. Again, they come straight out and say, this is what's up. And they fought for their MC. Now a lot would have, you know, that's the, you know, you have the pop-ups or you say, you know, you have these different rules that you got to go by. They all say a lot of these earlier clubs, they had a fight for where they are now. If they started a club, boom, you got to fight. You got to back that patch. You got to do you. You got to build your brotherhood. I know that's going to be a conversation for Sunday, the 26th, I believe, or 27th, something like that. It's a Sunday. 
I know we're going to have Miklo on. Black Dragon's going to be covering uh, a part of that interview in the first segment, me the second segment. And I know some of that stuff's going to come up because there's a lot of questions out there. See, the thing with the internet is it makes everybody an expert. The people don't want to hear other people's opinion. Uh, history, yeah, you can do researching and all that type of stuff, but a lot of it's oral history which a lot of people don't understand. But it is uh, so interesting with the Hessians and how many people really don't know about them. Like they said, they fly under the radar, and you have other hardcore clubs that still think this way. You got the Invaders. Uh, you either talk to Shaggy on that one, or you got the Breed. You got other smaller clubs that are really hardcore to the bone, man. Uh, even the big majors don't want to mess with them because they did put in the work to be where they are today. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section. We're going to go over right now to China Dow over in the second segment. It's going to be a good one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll be right back. Join the Insane Throttles Members Only Club. Two ways to join over on Spotify and YouTube. Insane Throttle Biker News' channel, by the way. With your membership, you get exclusive content Monday through Friday. China Dow's on there with me. Y'all love China Dow. Also, you get an invite to the yearly rumble in the woods where we get together have parties have fun so make sure you join the insane throttles members only club over on spotify or youtube rock on